Hi, I'm Wayne and this is Basker Woodworking. As you can probably tell, my shop is a huge mess right now. And that's because I've just made these two cutting boards in just a couple of hours. And I'm going to show you how I did it. I started the regular arm saw, cross cutting a slab of purple heart. I'm cutting it to about 16 inches, taking it nice and slow so that I don't have the radial arm saw climb up the purple heart. It's then over the table saw where I can rip the chunk of purple heart into two inch strips. I did have a little bit of problem with the purple heart burning. It turns out purple heart has a tendency to do that. This is my first time ever working with the wood. So after the first few cuts, I did start to get a feel for it. As I am making two cutting boards, I then resawed the purple heart strips into about one inch blocks. I then turned my attention to surfacing the slab of maple. It had a pretty noticeable twist in it, so I used some hot glue to attach it to a piece of Lexan, which I know is flat, and then put a wedge under the end with the twist, and then sent it through the planer a bunch of times. I've found that this works really well to give myself a flat reference surface to plane the rest of the board with. It was then time to rip a whole bunch of quarter inch strips of maple. I just um, sacrificed a push stick to the saw and just kept sending them through. Then it was time for the first glue up. I wanted to be sure to completely cover all the surfaces being glued together, so I used a plastic scraper to thinly spread the glue out. This turned out to be a mistake, and in the future glue ups, I just use a acid brush like I always do. It works out better. After giving them about 40 minutes to dry, I could then take the first completed piece and send it through the planer to bring the maple strips down to level with the purple heart before making the next set of cuts. It was then over to the radial arm saw to cross cut one of the cutting boards into one inch strips. This is where you'll see the glue job that he did fall apart in a couple of places. Not a big deal, I could glue it back together and it doesn't affect the final project at all, but it was a little bit of an annoyance and did make it take a couple extra minutes. It was then time for final glue up on the brick pattern cutting board. To do this, I simply placed a horizontal maple strip between my 1 inch strips, being sure to stagger the vertical maple lines in my 1 inch strips to create the pattern of bricks. I found it easiest to do this glue up on a piece of Lexan since wood glue won't stick to the Lexan. I didn't have to worry about also prying the cutting board off of the glue surface after it was done drying. I could then finish the horizontal stripe cutting board just by planing it down like I had in the previous step for the brick pattern cutting board, but this will just skip the last step of cutting the brick pattern and just leave it as is when it's done going through the planer. Once the brick pattern was dry, I could take it over to the radial arm saw and just square it up um, by cutting the maple strips away and then using the brick as reference surface against my fence to run it through the table saw and actually create a rectangle. I could then send the brick pattern board through the planer, being extremely careful to only take extremely shallow passes with the planer. Taking too big a bite could result in splitting the board because the maple strips are running horizontally across the board, meaning the planer could grab it and send it backwards instead of cutting it. It was then time for copious amounts of sanding. I sanded starting with 150 grit to 220 grit and eventually finishing up with hand sanding at 400 grit.
I then sealed the board using some walrus oil. Big shout out to Graf Woodshop on the tip on this one, it was great. I'll link to his video down below. With one board down, it was time to repeat the entire process with the brick pattern, cutting board, routing the edges with a round over bit, sanding to 400 grit, and then finishing with some more walrus oil. Again, big shout out craft wood shop. absolutely love the way that these cutting boards came out. One of them is going to be a gift for a friend and the other one's going to just stay in my house. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with new projects as they are released. And until next time, thank you. Hi, I'm Wayne and this is Bastow Woodwork. No, that. Hi, I'm Wayne and this is Bastow Woodworking. 